G'day guys, we're down here at AU House for this vlog. Um, using the last vlog, we took the car out for a test. Still a few dramas. Uh, me and Frosty and the boys just absolutely thrashing on that car to try and get it done in time for the uh, for the event and sort of rushed a few things. But we, we are having a power issue with the car. It's not really making anywhere near as much power as I think it should be. It should be kind of I don't know how to explain it. It should be a lot more punchy than it is, and it's just not. So, yeah, there's considerations of turboing it now before we go to Japan. Alternatively, I'm hoping the boys here can find an alternative as far as find out why it's doughy, find out why it's not making the power it should be making. Have I just got copped a dud motor? Uh, is there an issue with the cam timing? Is there just some issue with the car I don't know about that we need to like look up and work out what's going on. But I did bring uh, some stuff down with me that could potentially, uh, you know, it's like half a turbo kit, right? Oh. <laughs> Dave's very not stoked or necessarily surprised. I don't know. Is it just like, oh, what the hell? What the heck? No, I'm not surprised because this is normally how it happens every time. What? I just do this and it'll be fine. Oh damn it, I'll, no, we'll need to add this. We need more. That's yeah. just car guy things. Need more, need more. Um, anyway, Dave's gonna take it for a little spin, see what he thinks, but I, I think it thinks severely down on power and I guess we'll find out in a sec. What's your answer probably gonna be in tech swap it? I mean, we wouldn't <laughs> We wouldn't need to do any valve springs or oil pump piece if we're gonna boost it. To in tech it? Yeah, <laughs> because it'll take 13 pound of them all day. Yeah, don't And make 400 me. horsepower and run off like three wires. Well, it's essentially the same wire, because it's almost the same loop. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, we'll get this thing off and have a geezer. You ever got into a Falcon with a big roll cage? Um, nah, no, no, no slidey seat, bro. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh these guys. You gotta grow. It's doable. I sit real close. Yeah. That's close to me. Yes. <laughs> it is slidable, but not some sliders. You have to loosen the bolts and it's got like two oh. inches of movement. And right now it's as far back as it can go. Okay, you're right back. Because I've still got booty. Once I lose a bit more of my booty, it'll slide forward. <laughs> <laughs> Does the clutch feel super heavy to you? What's in it? Um, I can't remember. The guy was running, it slipped at 450 kilowatts. Man. Or 450 horsepower, either one. That seems quite heavy, considering the twin plate I've got in the turb ski is not that heavy at all. But you know what? The other clutch I had in this car felt that heavy. And it's just one of the Repco ones. Or the heavy duty or whatever they are. That is a bit strange. Hmm. So we'll let David take it for a drive now, see what he thinks and hopefully it's some good news. What's up? There's stuff in the boot. No, the boot's okay. completely empty. Okay. Like as in there's no floor in the boot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it goes good it's so weird maybe it's just that other course was really grippy but it didn't feel slippery it didn't feel grippy I don't know I'm so conflicted maybe the gear ratio just ain't it I don't know and I guess the other thing I kind of need to take into account I was driving my 370z which is quite a light little car very grippy like and it works super well 
um, and then I was and then I'm, I was sort of back to backing the Falcon more so off my JZX which is like big turbo and a few other like spicy bits and pieces in that car so maybe I was you know, expecting too much from it I don't know What was that? Yeah, terrible. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, car's here now in the capable hands of the AU House Boys. They got a few little ideas of why she's not as potent as she should be. Uh, one of them being, what was it, David? The it's got doesn't no have it. It's got no speedo, which does put it into what a limp. It, it's like a semi limp, and no speedo reference. It won't give you full power. It like seems like it's full power, but not full power. Yeah, and that's what I'm feeling. It's not like it's falling over or anything. It's like it just doesn't go enough. It's just, pfft, yeah, potato. It's board. a bit. She's like, no, a bit meh. <laughs> it's a bit meh. So um, there's a few ideas floating around. One of them is turbocharger. One of the things that will help this turbo thing happen, guys. If you haven't already, guys, go and subscribe to the AU House YouTube channel. I think if we can get them up to 10k, they're not too far away. But if I can get you guys to go over to AU House. Subscribe to their channel, get the guys up to 10k. I think that's really going to help the whole getting this thing turbo thing. And we need it to happen now. So if you can get across there and subscribe straight after watching this video, it'll mean a hell of a lot to me and I know it'll mean a lot to those guys. And they've helped me out a lot in the past. They're doing me a massive solid now with getting this car done. Kicked everything out of the shop and it's full blown. Get the Japanese AU, a Japanese Falcon ready to go for Japan. So yeah. 10, 10k in a turbo kit? Is that how it's working? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> there you go, guys. Go and subscribe to AU House channel. Get him up to 10k, and then I'll have a bunch of ammo to be able to throw at him then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 as I say, yeah, no, we'll do 10. Well, there we go. So if you want to see this, if you want to see this Falcon Turbo, you know what to do. Go to AU House, subscribe to them. If you want to see this in Turbo before it goes to Japan, because it's it's kind of swinging that way at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll see. All right, strange feeling. Currently putting my JZX100 away. Knowing that I'm gonna be putting this car away for pretty much three solid months. Such a weird thing, you know, I've sort of waited so long to have a JZX100 like this. And now I'm leaving it behind in Australia. We're off doing all this cool stuff, but I don't know. I just thought I'd document this because it's just strange, you know, the thought of, you know, obviously I'm going overseas and driving and all that, and I'm gonna be driving my Corvette, which is sick, and then obviously the Falcon situation, but it's still like weird knowing I'm not driving this car for another three months. Strange. I back it nicely down the side of my house. I was too silly to open both gates. I've only opened one. So, you know, always about making my life more difficult. <laughs> there we go. JZX100 officially put away. Remember, if you haven't already got your JZX100 shirt, we've got two shirts now with this car on it. I'm in love with this car, guys. JZX100 Mark II. When we do get back from all our overseas travel, hopefully the plan is to go and uh, get some more power out of this thing. It makes okay power now, but ideally I think I'm gonna put the car on E85 and make it quite a bit more spicy on the power. Well, when I say quite a bit, I kind of want it to make very similar power to what my uh, JZX90 used to make because I felt like that was such a sweet spot for a JZX. It was enough power where it wasn't breaking stuff, but also, you know, um, you know, not, it was just a great combination of power and stuff and a similar setup in this would be phenomenal okay we are absolutely flat out getting ready gone and got myself a nice little haircut uh trying to get everything ready for leaving literally this afternoon is that tiana's keys or my keys i don't know what her keys look like they look like her keys right so I did put my 100 away. It's obviously the next day now. Tiana's JZX100 needs to go away now. She's gonna be an all Toyota affair down the side of the house. So the boys, um, obviously Hayden, who's their housemate, and then we've got another mate coming out from Melbourne who's gonna be helping look after the house while we're gone. 
they'll be able to just move Tiana's cart in and out when they want to use the hoist. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one in here to accompany the other Toyotas. And, uh, and that's all I need to do car-wise, other than everything's going on with the Falcon, which uh, it's coming along. All right, so I did get some news back from the AU House boys about the BA Falcon. Turns out what I did suspect was some issue with the VCT or the cam gear. Turns out one of the VCT, the plugs, apparently it's very common with Falcons that the plugs go bad on the looms that go to the VCT. Turns out the VCT was completely unplugged on I believe the intake side so that 100% explains the lack of power. The AU House boys have taken it for a thrash and they said it's like a million times better, but um, I don't know what the plan is. It's still turbo or not. I don't know, I think I've got these boys locked in to 10K. If we get them up to 10K, pretty sure we can still lock them in for a turbo conversion. Um, you know, all we need, honestly, I'll be more than stoked with a stock turbo on one of those, maybe a weld on gate, you know, just turbo injectors, I'm only gonna run it on whatever, you know, 100 octane in Japan, just their 98 basically. Um, you know, I don't need it to be a crazy car. Oil pump gears maybe, and a few little things. Anyway, Frosty's gonna head down there in the next couple of days. Obviously the OU house guys are gonna be documenting everything they do on that car. So I'll definitely be letting you guys know when that all happens, but I'm gonna get ready guys. Store's now closed, um, but I'll have some news in the next few days, especially for American viewers, uh, we've got a new shirt coming out uh, in America. Um, you'll still be able to buy it here in Australia if you want, but obviously you'll be shipping from Australia, uh, or from the US to Australia, US to Europe or wherever. So probably everyone from Europe, the US, all of that's gonna be a ton cheaper to grab one of our shirts. Um, but I'll have more info about that in the coming days. I think on the 27th, we're gonna be dropping those. So very, very pumped. I'm off to America tonight, guys. Looking forward to the next couple of vlogs and getting to America, the Corvette, the Holly, the, the everything that's happening there. So I'm super excited. I hope everybody's pumped and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys. <laughs>